Disney the season. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Today we're joined by the incredibly talented and incredibly good at making me and Rhett feel old and irrelevant. Yes. It's Rowan Blanchard. Woo! Woo! Welcome to like the that. show. Wow. Thanks, guys. I yes. like a good woo at the top of a <laughs> show. Yeah. Woo! Good morning. <laughs> yeah, That's right. Yeah, you're telling me. Hey. Okay. Now today uh, we're gonna play a game about Disney Channel original movies or DCOMs for those of us in the know and. Uh, we happen to know that you got a little experience. You were in a decom I yourself was. called Invisible Sister, which, if I recall, was about you accidentally eating a twin sister in the womb and having her ghost haunt you at school and dates and stuff, right? Uh, it wasn't about that. I did write a pilot about that last month. Oh, oh. <laughs> what a coincidence. I, you should collab on that. that. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I got that impression. Maybe we're just on the same wavelength. Okay, we're gonna yeah. see if you're really an expert that you should be in a game of real or fake bizarre Disney Channel Christmas movies. It's time for, were these Christmas movies on the Disney Channel or made up by some guy in flannel? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna read you a synopsis of a movie and the title and then you're going to guess whether it's real okay. with your paddles, that would be Mickey, or if I made it up, and that would be Tricky. Okay. Now you're competing, of course, to see who can get more correct, because that's how competitive uh -huh. games usually work. <laughs> that's right. And whoever wins Are gets you competitive? A yeah, I'm competitive. I was on the Disney Channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you had to eat oh. other children <laughs> just to get I that position. Yeah. And whoever okay. wins gets a selfie with Rowan Blanchard. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Let's play, man. <laughs> Do it. I'm, Here's I'm the ready. first one. <laughs> Little Jessica's mom died mm. when she was a kid. Fortunately, Jessica just won a free wish from a magic stranger at the mall. She wishes for a mom for Christmas, which of course leads to a department store mannequin coming to life and showing up to Jessica's house. Jessica loves her new mommy, but she has to turn back into a mannequin on Christmas Eve because who cares why? It's a movie. Tricky. Oh, hey, oh, I'm you're... not even done yet. <laughs> you got more? So while stepmom mannequin is busy seducing her dad, Jessica tries to break the curse and keep her from becoming an inanimate object again. See all this heart-wrenching mannequin mother-daughter drama in A Mom for Christmas. A Mom for Christmas. Mickey or Tricky? Tricky. Sticking with your first instinct? Going with my first instinct, going with my knowledge of Disney. Oh, okay. Going with it. What are you saying? I think this sounds very intriguing. <laughs> and I'm hoping it's real. Mickey. <laughs> okay, A Mom for Christmas is Mickey! It is real! This 1990 yeah. Yeah. piece of art featured Olivia Newton-John as the mannequin mother. Let's check out a clip. What? Honey, it's just a mannequin. Take her hand, Daddy, please. We can't lose her too. We can't lose her too. <laughs> yeah, wow. I don't I understand. Mean, why I don't know how I missed that. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Why didn't the mannequin turn into the mom? I don't know. She was in a different place. Seemed like an opportunity that they, they missed there. But the dad was like, I'm still sleeping with the mannequin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you're, so you're supposed to wait for the mannequin to magically come to life before you make out with it. That's news to me. All right. All right, here we go. I'm taking the early lead. 16 year old Nick and Nikki Ooh. may share most of their DNA. They're twins after all. But that's not the only thing they know how to share. Oh, no, that is the only thing they know how to share. <laughs> they hate each other. Adding insult to injury, it just so happens their birthday is on Christmas Day, which means less attention and, more importantly, less presents. Nick is especially angsty about all this, and one fateful Christmas Eve, Nick devises a plan to pelt his twin sister with snowballs from high atop his small town's big, weirdly magical oak tree. But one wrong step sends him and Nikki plummeting to the ground and through time. Can Nick and Nikki find their way back to the year 2002 and also find the true spirit of Christmas along the way? 
Does Disney have a satisfying grasp on bending the fabric of space and time? Find out in Christmas presents, past and future. Good God. Wow. Man. Woo! That's longer than the movie. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, Mickey, you're tricky. I like want to say Mickey, but then I like think about it and I feel like it's tricky. Well, just talking through my thoughts. <laughs> this, no, that's good. That's I, a I will great say strategy. the synopsis itself I, was very tricky. Like I have yeah, no clue what, what, what you went just on. said. I yeah. knew you didn't right. follow that. That's part of You know of what? Let's right. go. My I'm intention. gonna go with tricky. And I was already on tricky. <laughs> Congratulations, you're both right. It is tricky. <laughs> but if it were real, this is what the movie poster would look like. Oh. <laughs> it would be me and my twin sister. Yeah. Traveling through time. Based on this movie poster link, if you find out that you have a twin sister on 23 and Me, do not contact her. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Teen girls Sam and Allie are wandering Ooh. around the woods like teenage girls do when they come upon an old shack with a weather controlling machine inside it. So again, much like teenage girls do, they steal it and make it snow in Los Angeles. But little do they know that, that the weather machine actually belongs to Santa. Soon Santa is hot on the trail of the girls trying to get his weather machine back while the snowstorm in LA has gotten out of control. Will Santa find the girls and help them turn the weather machine off simply by changing the batteries? Find out that's exactly what happens in the ultimate Christmas present. Mickey or Tricky? This is real. Ooh. I know this because I remember this one. <laughs> I remember uh, this like, could the be whole... great gameplay. It could now, be strategy. Are like. you messing with me or are you giving me an advantage? Because I haven't seen this, of course. But uh, I'm, I'm like... not messing. I really do remember this one. I remember like the Santa coming in. Are you double messing with me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you do you. I if I were you, I would go with your first gut instinct, which was tricky. Yeah, oh, right, 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 okay. Right, right, right. Or are you now right, messing right, right, with me? Right, 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 right. <laughs> no, I, I, I think you were too enthusiastic about this. Yeah, honestly, I gave myself away. <laughs> okay. So I'm saying You're Mickey right, too. it's Mickey. This 2000 release, one year before your birth, Rowan, featured Brenda Song multiple years before her on again, off again relationship with Miley Cyrus' most tattooed brother. There he is. Good, wow. <laughs> Good gracious. It's like he's covered in seashells. Here's the promo. Allie and Samantha had the perfect plan for Christmas. The weather machine is missing. Until it snowballed out of control. The Los Angeles area is experiencing snow. Tonight. The important thing right now is to stop this storm. Disney Channel unwraps the ultimate Christmas present. This is so out of control. A Disney Channel original movie. Send in the elves. Elves. Do you have a problem with that? The ultimate Christmas present. <laughs> this is so out of control. So how was it? You remember that one? Well, as you said, I was a year prior to my birth, but I do remember hearing about it. Oh, you just heard about it. it. So Santa's and got later. a weather maker. Yeah, it also yeah. looks like Kenny Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> Little 13-year-old Molly Fletcher doesn't know her real parents. She was raised by a nice barren couple who found her on their doorstep 12 years ago, the day after Christmas. But Molly's always wondered whose womb she actually emerged from. Now, Aww. as she begins puberty, she notices some changes that are definitely unlike the usual ones. An insatiable craving for sweets, bright pink rosy cheeks at all times, and suddenly, shockingly white hair. Is she the long lost daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus, or is she just the most unfortunate teenage girl in the world with a rare genetic disorder? Join this traumatized teen girl on her quest to find out in Holly Molly Christmas. For a second, as you were going through that, I forgot you were describing a potential movie, and I just thought this was like real life, and I got really excited. <laughs> it's like, Santa's got a child. Mm -hmm. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> Go That's with that, Link. Here. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have white hair. Like well, I do underneath this. That's right, she's covered it up. I don't either. Yeah. She's covered it up. <laughs> um, hmm. Now, yeah, I'll keep letting you go first. <laughs> I feel like it's tricky. Great story. Though. I mean, would Disney do something about like the womb and like puberty? Like, I think so. I think it's high time they did that. <laughs> um, yeah, I, 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 I think they've got it in them. I feel like this is fake. Mickey, it's. Tricky! <laughs> but if it were real, this is what the movie poster would look like. There she is. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. And I have a suggested subtitle for this one. I, Santa forgot to rap. 
Okay, okay. You guys are tied at three. Nothing says Christmas like 1890s Australian Outback. And conveniently, (laughs) that's when and where this movie takes place. Ned O'Day is a young boy from a sheep farm with an active imagination. So active, he comes to believe a fat, bearded, homeless transient is Santa Claus. He's not, of course. He's actually a horse thief on the run from the law. But can young Ned and this grizzled, gun-toting Australian horse maniac still teach each other the spirit of Christmas while simultaneously saving some soon-to-be-dead sheep? (laughs) Find out the answer is yes in Miracle Down Under. (laughs) Oh, that title. (laughs) Um. This This is for... All the marbles. Thanks Even for though. spoiling all these for us. Yeah, by yeah the way. I feel like now I can't enjoy my yeah, holiday right. season. There's right. a lot more where these came from. Man, so a transient mistaken as Santa. Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Every part of this. Yep. Um, yep. 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 You know what? There's no but way. Mickey. Oh. I'm just gonna say I, this sounds crazy enough that it happened. In, in real life. In real life. <laughs> yes. well, this is a documentary. It's, it's, it's actually <laughs> Disney Channel's first documentary. All right, no, no, there's no way, man. This, this, no. It's Mickey! <laughs> yes, this movie aired originally on December 5th, 1987, and then it was subsequently released as Miracle Down Under, Bushfire Moon, and The Christmas Visitor. They kept recycling it. Here's the trailer. very special child and a very unlikely Father Christmas. How come you carry a gun? Mosquitoes. Uh, Biggest elephants out here. Sometimes I can't believe that I was like on this same channel. (laughs) (laughs) It makes you feel great, right? You should feel honored. It just makes me feel like I really did that, you know? Yeah. Well, and you should feel even more honored because you win! Congratulations! You actually win a selfie with yourself. <laughs> with Rowan Vincent. <laughs> wow. You ever I've done that it. before? Oh, they're photo bon- oh. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Rowan, and thank you for joining us today. Check her out as the face of Mew Mew's Fall Campaign and see her in Splitting Up Together on ABC. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Now you say you know what time it is. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Susan. And it's our 30th birthday. And we're at Disney's Hollywood Studios. And, and it's time, time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. Ah, Nick and Nicky grew what up. What a dink. Happy birthday, ladies. Yes. Click the top link to watch us react to cute cats with Rowan and Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is going to land. You've earned yourself a new badge just for watching to the end of this video. Get our full line of badges at mythical.store.